welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be going over a Manhattan, how most chain restaurants would do it, and how to upgrade it and make it a little bit more bougie and crafty for you. So I'm going to start with uh, what is considered more of a chain restaurant style um, Manhattan, something you get at kind of a lower end restaurant in my personal opinion. And that is going to be with your basic, non-crafty kind of stuff. So we're going to add a little bit of ice to our, our shaker and I free pour. Today we're using a kind of basic ball style uh, bourbon. And we're going to add a three count to three. And for the sake of our video, we're going to use our sugar for a little of the regular sweet vermouth. So this is just your basic kind of get anywhere sweet vermouth at about, what is that, half an ounce, an ounce, excuse me. Um, and I always prefer, most bars have the, the English syrup better, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, what I like is one, two, three dashes. And contrary to popular belief, um, most people shake their Manhattan's at restaurants, at least where we live, so we're gonna shake it. I, a full picture, and you will see when we compare our Manhattans the difference between our shaken Manhattan versus our little crafty Manhattan. Here. So that comes out really nice. It looks pretty. I actually really enjoy that style. I don't mind it if it's shaken. Thank you very much. And then we're gonna add the dreaded, the very dreaded. Richard Cherry. So drop that on there. And there you have your restaurant style Manhattan. And I'm going to go ahead and make more of our craft style Manhattan. So, same grill, add the eggs. I'll go ahead and three pour two because apparently uh, that's the turn of the day. As it should. And, <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and add Antica Sweet Vermouth. This is one of my favorite sweet vermouths. Um, what's interesting about this sweet vermouth is it needs just a little bit less than if you were to use a cheaper sweet vermouth. So we'll go ahead and add that under an ounce. And then instead of shaking mine, I'm going to go ahead and Oh, and then I absolutely love Lysardo cherries. So what I always do is I always add a spoonful of that juice on in there. Take that up too. Much different color. And of course, cannot forget our garnish there. Shaken versus stirred. Why don't you go ahead and uh, get yours to taste for some time? What I would expect. Versus what I would that's I would incredible. definitely agree. That is incredible. I would absolutely agree. So, we look forward to your feedback. And any suggestions, recommendations, um, let us know. We want to keep this channel open for other craft bartenders and just chat space. Thank you. Thank you very much.